Now to that breaking headline late today from Los Angeles. A verdict tonight in the Blurred Lines case. A jury deciding the case in favor of Marvin Gaye's children and awarding them $7.3 million, saying Robin Thicke and Pharrell borrowed from that song. The stakes in this landmark case could be even higher. And here tonight, ABC's Lindsay Davis. In the case of the smash hit Blurred Lines, the lines blurred no more. I'm so filled with emotion right now that it's hard to get the words out. But um, this, this was a miracle. This afternoon, a jury ruling against Pharrell Williams and Robin Thicke, finding they copied a Marvin Gaye classic. See if you hear any similarities. First, Blurred Lines, then Gaye's Gotta Give It Up. On the stand, singer Robin Thicke, seen here outside the California court, reiterated his admiration for Gay's music in this VH1 interview. One of my favorite songs of all time was Marvin Gaye's Got to Give It Up. And um, so we tried to, you know, get a little groove like that going. Jurors heard Gay's song played off sheet music to compare the beat, and apparently it struck a chord. They're now awarding Gay's family a portion of Blurred Line's nearly $17 million profit. Legal analysts say this verdict sends a loud message to the music industry. I think this is going to lead any musician who's been inspired by another song to think twice because this is a big legal ruling. All right, Lindsay's with us now, and so the big question is what's next here? Yeah, well, the attorney for the Gay family says that the family now has the right to ask the court to prohibit future sales of blurred lines. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for Pharrell says that this sets a horrible precedent for music and that he and Thick are weighing their options. All right, Lindsay Davis with us tonight. Lindsay, thank you as always.